Let's take a look at rounding and estimating. And um, because we are estimating, that means we are definitely not using a calculator. We're not interested in exact answers, just something close to it. So 7.9 to the nearest whole number, well that is between the numbers seven and eight, but because it's 0.9, which is greater than a 0.5, that's gonna round to eight. 1.07 to one decimal place means we need to look at the value of the second decimal place. This number is greater than five, so this column here will move up one, so that will become 1.1. 1 .1. 1 1.07 to the nearest whole number, well it's between one and two, and 0 0.07 is less than 1.5, which would be the midway point between one and two, and because it's lower than this amount, that will therefore round down to one. 89.5, well that is between 89 and 90. Exactly halfway between is 89.5, and the number is 89.5, so when it's exactly halfway, you round up. So that's gonna round up to 90. 36.45 to one decimal place, we need to look at the value of the second decimal place. Since it's a five, this column here will move up one, so that becomes 36.5. And 36.45 to the nearest whole number is, 30, it is between uh, 36 and 37. Now exactly halfway between 36 and 37 is 36.5 or 36.50. 0. 0.45 is less than 0. 0.50, so therefore it will round down to 36. So Charlie and his four friends buy tickets to a film for £6.98, so we want an estimate for how much they pay altogether. So there are five of them. Let's call it £7 per ticket. So five times seven is £35. What's the value or an estimated value of 2.11 times 19? Well, let's just call this two. So two times 19 is 38. You perhaps rounded the 19 to the 20, which again, is not the craziest thing to do, but two 19s is still relatively easy to calculate. So I would leave it as it is. In question number nine, we're trying to estimate 8.91 times by three. So let's just call this nine. So nine times three, which is nine, 18, 27. Number 10, let's just call this eight and let's just call this four. So eight times four, 32. So we want to estimate the number of hours in a year. Well, let's just imagine that there were 50 weeks uh, in a year, seven days in a week and perhaps 25 hours in a day just to make this a little bit easier so we need to do 50 times by 7 times by 25 let's focus on this part first 50 times 7 is the same as 5 times 7 with an extra 0 5 7 to 35 so 50 7s are 350 so we need to multiply this by 25 5 zero is a 0 5 5 is a 25 carry the 2 5 3 is a 15 plus 2 is 17 Put in the zero because this is the two of 20. Two zeros are zero. Two fives are 10, carry the one. Two threes are six plus one is seven. Add these together, zero, five, seven, eight. So 8,750 would seem like a fairly sensible estimate. Question 12. Um, so we're gonna call the 4.07, divide that by four. So we're hoping to, from this, somehow get a multiple of four. So if I round this up to 48 and round this up to four, 48 minus four is 44 and 44 can be divided by four, which uh, makes me feel better. So the answer is 11. 2.87, let's call that three. Uh, so 404, let's call this 400. Let's call 187, let's be generous and just call that 200. 400 minus 200 is 200, so we want three times 200, which is 600. It's possible that you've just called this 190, which would seem fairly acceptable to me, so therefore 400 minus 190 would be 210, so you'd be doing three times 210 instead of three times 200, but I'm sure that would be acceptable as well. And uh, finally, for question 14, I'm gonna round 7.1 down to seven. So I need this to somehow come to a multiple of seven. 
So I'll call this 58, I'll call this 7, and I will call this 5. 58 plus 7 is 65, 65 plus 5 is 70, which is a multiple of 7. So therefore this final calculation is now nice and easy. 70 divided by 7 is 10.